Welcome to video tutorials of mechanisms by Mekanis Muller. Recently I came across a Dake Square piston steam engine which was patented in 1888 by William Dake. This engine manufactured by the Dake Corporation from 1887 until about 1950. Simplicity and ingenuity of its design makes this engine very interesting. I believe hobbyists can make air engines with 3D printers out of this concept very easily. I actually made the world's first 3D printing model of the Dake steam engine and posted a video of it. I believe that a cheap hydraulic motor can be designed and manufactured by using this concept. This is because CNC manufacturing makes it possible to manufacture square blocks with precision. The Dake engine is a square piston engine. There are basically five main parts in its construction with only three moving parts. The square outer piston is shown in green, the somewhat round inner piston is shown in gold and the crankshaft is in grey. The other two major components of this engine are the engine body and cover plate. Let's first show the major components and how they interact with each other. The engine body has a rectangular housing for the piston to work in. There is also a round hole where the crankshaft of the engine is mounted. The crankshaft shown here is mounted to the body and has an eccentric pin which fits into a hole on the center of the inner piston to be shown. The outer piston shown here in green fits into the square housing in the body plate. The outer square piston moves horizontally and there are two holes located on the left and right sides of its body. They are used for the steam to enter and leave the system. If the steam enters from the left hole, it will exhaust from the right hole or vice versa. The inner piston fits into the square hole inside the outer piston and moves vertically up and down inside the outer piston. The crank pin enters into the round hole at the back center of the inner piston. The front side of the inner piston has four holes as shown here which are used for steam to enter and exhaust from the system as shown in the animation. The front plate covers the other components and seals the engine. There is a disc-shaped groove at the center of this plate for the exhaust steam to leave the engine. There is a ring-shaped groove which is connected to the steam entry port shown in red. Let's look at how steam enters and leaves the engine at the four different positions. Notice that the red colors indicate the hot steam and the blue is the exhausted steam. Notice how the four holes in the center of the inner piston are aligned with the circular groove where the exhaust steam leaves the engine, and the ring groove where hot steam enters the engine are aligned. Alignments are always such that if hot steam is aligned with the top hole, the exhaust is aligned with the bottom hole, or vice versa. On the same note, if the hot steam is aligned with left hole, the right hole is aligned with exhaust, or vice versa. Thank you for watching our videos, if you like this video please give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel.